I'm not sure how to introduce this video's concept, so I'll just come straight out with it. I mean to propose a theory of cosmic fracture for the 40k universe that takes inspiration from both Indo-European creation myths as well as the real-world holographic universe theory to argue that the warp is, in essential fact, the origin point of the 40k universe. To do this, I first need you to understand the quintessence of things like the primordial void, cosmic inflation theory, and the physics of electromagnetic dispersion. Don't worry, these things are actually far simpler than they sound when you really drill down to their roots. But since it is by far the simplest of the above concepts to get to grips with, I'm going to address the metaphysical side of our eldritch equation first, where we encounter esoteric terms like Ginunga Gap, Nun, Absu, Pandemonium, the Outer Darkness, the Tao, no, not them, and many, many more. All of which are linguistic facets of the universal body of human thought that describes the great eldritch sea from which all things source and to which they will all inexorably return. Some say it is the formless water into which God spoke the light of creation. Others say it is the mind of the Alpha Eldritch deity, Azathoth, and that we are all just his fevered dreams. This eternal nightmare, this great black thing, this is what the warp truly is. It is the start and end of the circle. It is the sea beneath all ships. It is the sky which holds up all stars. It is where we come from, and it is to where we are all unabatedly destined. And now for the difficult part. The principle of any hologram is to translate object information from one dimension of space onto another. The holographic universe theory asserts that the moment of the Big Bang, what scientists call the singularity, was really just a dispersion of extracosmic energy states, much like wavelengths of light scattering through a prism, one section of which formed everything we observe in our three-dimensional slice of the greater reality spectrum, while the others refracted off into other external dimensions, which for 40k is where you'd get things like the webway. Now, I obviously can't draw an infinitely-sided hyperdimensional anomaly for you, so here's my very abstract, absurdist rendition of my 40k cosmology. You'll notice that our material reality, the materium, reverberates outward from the immaterium in ever-ossifying ripples. This immaterial expansion theory would explain how and why the warp is said to exist beyond linear time, despite having entities within that can perceive events with a before and an after just as we do, and which themselves possess definitive origin points in our reality, despite being supposedly eternal, as well as how the warp itself can supposedly be both infinite and finite, and also how it drives people absolutely raving mad if they stay in contact with it for too long. For just like the singularity in our own cosmic expansion theory, the warp defies our comparatively simplistic laws of causality and finality. It is, by its very nature, a circular paradox, and thus it is dubbed evil by we who are cursed to pursue understanding through rigid delineation and who derive purpose by drawing lines from a beginning to an end point. And here's where souls come into the picture. You see, souls in 40K have an almost symbiotic relationship with the warp, much like Jedi or Sith have with the Force in Star Wars, being at once apart from and yet a part of its immeasurable substance. On the one hand, the thoughts, feelings, and actions of mortals in the Materium can and do leave an imprint on the Immaterium. This is how the Demons of Chaos came to be. But on the other side of the coin, the Immaterium presses outward constantly, ever exerting an irresistible pressure on those to whom it is tethered, however faintly, simultaneously granting them its boons, while also making them its eternally bound slaves and puppets. I imagine it's sort of like bubbles formed by creatures living beneath the surface of a lake. No matter how large it is or how far it gets from the surface, all are derived from the same substance, and so all are inevitably fated to return to the same source. As for why some souls are weaker than others, or where Noctilith, a.k.a. Blackstone, or Blanks fit in, I suspect it's respectively akin to dark matter and antimatter, if not a direct one-for-one -one analogy, as the former are both eldritch anomalies, and the latter is just a hostile waveform of the same fundamental substance as ordinary matter. But I hear you say, if I'm suggesting that the warp birthed material reality, how is it possible for Tyranids to create shadows in the warp? And how could the Catan devour the Necron souls if both material and non-material matter are, in fact, composed of the same eldritch warp stuff? Well, that last question pretty much answers itself, I think. All of what we know as matter, all of its laws, its behaviors, its patterns, are just slightly more crystallized cuts of the great cosmic nether, partitioned off by a great expanse, or schism, or maybe a conjunction or collapse of some sort or another at the beginning of all that we call reality. But whatever its source, we know that the veil segmenting our realm of the multiversal spectrum is permeable and much thinner than most would be comfortable admitting. 
perhaps as a result of a duodecillion odd souls, no small portion of which were psychers, rupturing it since the apocryphal genesis. And as a result, much like a wave function ultimately doomed to collapse by entropy, or like a star that must ultimately succumb to the existential might of gravity, or a frothing pot on the verge of boiling over, the frail weft of our material substance will eventually peel and fall apart. And when it does, all that will remain is the laughter of thirsting gods. Of course, this is all just my own strange opinion. Leave your own below. And, if you feel the video or channel deserves it, consider leaving a like, share the video and all that other standard YouTuber tripe you're sick to death of hearing by now, Maybe consider checking out my books on Amazon. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, and remember to praise the Omnissiah. Peace.